Well, Congress today failed to pass the cybersecurity bill. It was a last-ditch effort to pass a bill before the election, but the bill didn't get the 60 votes needed in order to pass. What it did is increase cyber protections for the nation's electrical grid, financial networks, and other infrastructure. It was the only cyber bill to have the backing of the White House and appeared to have bipartisan support. That is until two top senators got this letter from the financial services industry, groups like the American Bankers Association, the Clearinghouse Association, and more. In the letter, members of the finance industry voiced their concern that the bill would restrict information sharing between the government and the private sectors. The Chamber of Commerce also strongly opposes the bill. The lobbyist groups say they would support the legislation if certain changes were made to it. And it appears just like that lawmakers listened. It was mostly Republican senators that backed down. They say the object to, uh, of the bill, uh, they object to the bill, excuse me, because it would require too much from businesses. So is this another example of the finance industry having Congress wrapped around their fingers? Well, we can't know for sure, but it seems like too much of a coincidence.